So Richard, new regulations on water heaters? Absolutely, I've been expecting you, so I set up some water heaters. These laws uh, were passed five years ago, they've now come into play, and what it is, the government's trying to find a way for us to use less energy for making hot water. Everybody's got a water heater, they're on all day long, so what they're doing in the smaller units, up to 30, 40, and up to 50 gallons, is they're trying to make them more energy efficient by insulating them better. Mm -hmm. So this is a gas water heater right here, here's the burner, here's your hot and cold, it has a flue right here. Well, they're going to mandate that now there's at least two inches of insulation versus one inches on the side. Yep. And they're going to have two to four inches right here, and that's where a lot of the heat wants to go. So that's going to save us some energy. Do I care if it gets a little bigger, a little fatter, a little taller? Not if you've got a wide open basement, but there are many people that have a water heater jammed in a closet that only has a half an inch on either side anyways. Now, all of a sudden, you've got issues you now have to, it wouldn't fit. Or, think about this, many of them have their flue right here into a chimney. If that water heater, replacement water heater is four inches higher, that flue no longer fits into that hole, you now have to re-brick the chimney and do it a different way. So more insulation on the smaller ones. Yeah. What happens to the bigger ones and what is bigger? <laughs> well, bigger is over 55 gallons. Now those are bigger energy users. So in the gas units, a conventional t tank type water heater like this, which goes into a chimney, is no longer allowed. What? It's going to be called a condensing water heater. And oh, condensing yeah. means it uses so much of the fuel that you've paid for that the flue products have no temperature left in it. You can't go into the chimney. Now you have to go with a PVC or plastic vent of some sort and direct vent it to outside. So that's a huge change Absolutely. because you might have to move it or you might have that's to actually put it in a whole different room in the basement. That's right. So that's with gas. It has yeah. a flue. Electric we know doesn't have a flue. Right. Electric. But you've got big electric. Well, electric, you know, up to 55, you got this with a little electric heater. After that, it's no longer allowed. You've got to look at something like this. <laughs> now this is a hybrid. This is a heat pump. But you've got the tank down below. It has a backup element. But what it does predominantly is gather the heat that's inside the building, wasted heat that's inside the building, and puts it and moves it into the water heater. Mm. And the, this is worth it in many ways because you're going to save energy about 50% more than this in operating costs, but it comes at a size Boy, and does. a price premium. So these are all tank types. Um, we have got the uh, on-demand. Anything happen with these? This, there's no, you can't get more efficient than this. So there's no, this is still accepted and recommended. You got one of those, don't Because worry this, about you it. only pay for the energy you use when you want it. And just to be clear, this is only for new water heaters. If I've got one in the basement, right. regardless of how old it is, I don't have to touch it until That's it's right. time to replace. But it's not going to last forever, Kevin. They only last seven to ten years. Good information. All right, thank you.